All right, so welcome back to another episode, and today we are going to do the Monster Bass Unbagging for the month of May. And one thing I always get asked from people in the comment section of these videos is what part of the country am I in? Well, based on the bag. The bag that I get is for the Midwest and Great Lakes region. I am in Michigan, and this is the regional pro bag. It's $35 a month, and they're going to send me baits based on, well, it's supposed to be based on what part of the country I live in. So if you're wondering... Yes, I am in the north. I'm in Michigan. I do get the Midwest and Great Lakes bag. So I'm going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors and cut this open. And one thing that I do like is how the bag that the bag that they give you is you can use for additional storage. Just go ahead and cut that there. Tear the rest. I don't want to cut into the bag. And I thought I almost did cut into the bag, but I didn't. So anyway, go ahead and move that out of the way. Looks like you do have some stuff by Lunker Hunt. You have a cool sticker and, of course, the book, which is going to tell you what's in the bag. I almost just said box. It's going to tell you the prices and looks like you got a spinner bait, some must add stuff. Go ahead and take it out. And as always, I'm going to go over everything. We're going to talk about the tackle, what's in the bag, and I'm going to ask you guys to leave some comments. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with the book right here. All right, so it does, of course, say Monster Bass, and it says it's on. Enter the Big Bass Champi Championship for free. Excuse me, see back for details. Uh, Monster Bass Pro Staff Suburb Fisherman. That is going to be on Instagram and YouTube. Go ahead and open your magazine and, as, and your book. Excuse me, it's going to tell you about the baits and the price of each, which we're going to be going over. And you do have Burley Fishing's Tip of the Month for May in the Midwest and the water temperatures. I have been doing a lot of fishing myself, and if you're watching this and you're interested in fishing videos, go ahead and check those out. I do have a lot of those from this year already. But anyway, the Big Bass Championship. As a Monster Bass subscriber, it is 100% free for you to get in on the action. Download the Tourney X Pro app and create a profile. Register for the Monster Bass Big Bass Championship and use the code MBBC21 to register for free. Go fishing and register your catch. It's that simple. Catch, snap, release, and win. Your next catch could win you up to ten thousand dollars that right there is pretty cool so that it, we're going to go ahead and start with that and right here you do have the monster bass golden ticket winners announce on monster bass live every thursday at 7 p.m eastern and it does have a code on there so that is pretty cool now we're gonna we're not going to go in order according to the book we're just going to kind of jump around and grab them right off the top so starting off you do have a pack of the big bite baits four and a quarter inch kamikaze swim on chick magnet swirl i do like that name for a color chick magnet swirl if only <laughs> if only it was that easy in real life right i'm just kidding go ahead and check that out should have been a oh it's already broke open go ahead and look at that you kind of do have oh yeah it's kind of got gold yellow and a little bit of purple in it, it does look like a pretty good natural color uh, your first bait out of this month's box of course is the big bite baits and remember, at the end of the video, we're going to go over the baits and kind of include the comments. So you do have that. Next up, you do have the RC series, which is a Rick Clun Hail Mary. We're going to go ahead and take this out of the package. And it is a three-quarter ounce. I used to fish Rick Clun baits all the time, years ago. Even before I did YouTube. And I'll be honest with you, just from checking it out, I think I'm going to have to take this, take this out to the lake and... Check it out if I can get it out of the package. Jeez, oh, geez. oh, yeah. Take a look at that color. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks so good. And honestly, for a three-quarter ounce, like, that's that's not as big as I, I would think. I mean, obviously, it's, it's based on the weight of the bait, but... Oh, yeah. I like how it's flat-sided, too. And it does say three-quarter on the head of the bait. I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to I'm gonna try and catch like a big pike or one big bass on it and try to make a video with it. I don't know when, but at some point I will do that. So, moving up, moving on. Next, you do have Deep Creek Lures. Let's take a look at this. And by the way, if you wanted to know the color on that, RC, on that Rick Clun Hail Mary, it's actually called Phantom Bream, which kind of makes sense. So, in your Deep Creek Lures, you do have the Carolina Shad Watermelon Candy. And you know what? We haven't even finished this month's bag. But I'm going to tell you what, the variation is already pretty good. You do have the Big Bite Baits. You got the, the Flat Sided Hail Mary. And then take a look at this kind of fluke looking bait in the Watermelon Candy. I love Watermelon Red. 
I don't ever really throw watermelon candy, but and that is a little bit bigger than I would personally like, but that is another good bait out of this month's box. By the way, I do hope you guys enjoy the unboxings. I do have a playlist for all of my Monster Bass unboxings. So we're going to go ahead and set this down and kind of skip around here to a couple stickers and a pack of hooks. You do have the Lunker Hunt sticker and a Monster Bass sticker with the flag and the mask on it. This right here, I'm going to use this as the thumbnail. I do like to do that for my unboxings. Stand Out Lever Action Fishing System, ST4 one one -out. Yep, made in the USA. I've never actually heard of these, but if, if you've heard of these hooks or you've used them like anything else, let me know down in the comment section below. So I'll go ahead and put that down. And next up, I think we're going to go to, I think we're going to go to that spinnerbait. And that spinnerbait right there is going to be the Lunker candy i don't know i almost just said lunker hunt it's going to be the lunker candy spin master and then the three eight ounce and you will see that it's it almost kind of it's like a like a chartreuse with a little bit of silver and black on it it does have a willow blade and i believe a colorado blade go ahead and flip it over it's chartreuse and white excuse me which i kind of thought that was it just looks like a little bit of a different chartreuse and white color but the Spin Master by Lunker Candy is a proven fish catcher that comes that combines vibration and sound like no other conventional spinnerbait. The pattern of our hammered blades create a vibrating action that emits an unprecedented amount of flash. And they're premium handcrafted spinnerbaits. Go ahead and take it out of the package. I used to be really big into spinnerbaits, just like I was, well, just like I am crankbaits. And I kind of I kind of quit fishing spinnerbaits for a while because I kind of got into chatterbaits over the last past over the past two years, excuse me, but. I still do like to throw a spinnerbait once in a while, especially when it's windy and clear water. I, I like Strike King. Booyah is okay. I like some of the off-brands. I do want to try some of the Mega Bass spinnerbaits, though. But anyway, you do have a spinnerbait to add to this month's box. So far, it's a pretty good, it's, it's a pretty good box. you got decent variation in baits. And we're going to go ahead and move to the next bait in the box, and that is the Mustad Scattershad Blade Jig Hooked on Fishing. A bladed jig, or otherwise known as a chatterbait. Revolutionary new design features, uh, patented blade pivot system, premium skirts, Titan X Ultra Point hook. Of course, a weedless, weedless design and a double keeper collar. And it does say, what does it say on the bottom? Scatter Shad, and it is a 3 8 bluegill. Go ahead. Now this right here, this is going to be, this is going to be interesting if I can get this out of the package. And you know, I was already going to say... That I have my favorite bait out of this month's box, but hold on a second. Take a look at this right here. Look at the look at the design on that. Get that skirt out of the way. See, the only thing is, is if I throw this out there and it's it's not directly under the surface, if it's actually going deeper, because I do like my bladed jigs to go a little bit deeper. That's why I really do like the Thunder Cricket. I will definitely fish it, and that is that is a good a good color pattern for sure. I do like how it's got the mean looking eye and the red on the bottom of the head. So moving on, you do have two more baits left. You do have a pack of plastics and a frog. So we're going to go ahead and go over those. The Raptor Matt Crasher Frog. I haven't thrown a frog in like three years, man. I just do a lot of finesse fishing, bottom fishing, and moving baits. But I do need to get back into the top water thing. The Matt Crasher Frog is a deadly bait for working the mat silly pads or open water. It sits up at a slight angle, and it's easy to walk. Uh, and Nura Brown. Go ahead and take that out of the package. I actually really like the Booyah Pad Crasher. All right, but go ahead and take this out. That does look that does look pretty good. I mean, especially, oh, well, yeah, pretty lifelike on that frog. Do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. What is your favorite color frog? Because any frog fishing I've ever done, especially with braid and a heavy power fast action, it's normally the, the original green frog like the kind of greenish yellow frog color i know people like white they like black some people like yellow but let me know what is your favorite color so you have that and we're going to move on to the last bait out of this month's box which is actually by x zone and it is a four inch bait instead of the three inch that we got in a previous box we're going to go over that and then we're going to kind of talk about what we got here and finish the video so so this right here is of course the four inch pro series slammer and the color is 309, and it's funny because when the package was sitting on the opposite side and I looked at it, I was going to say, is that 309? Now, the other 309 color that I have, I do believe, is in the 2 and 3 quarter inch, which I really like. This, of course, since it is a 4 inch, is a bigger size. 
Let me know if you've had any success with the bigger ones. I like the two and three quarter and, and the tiny finesse ones, especially for a drop shot. But that, that does look good, man. Take a look at that. You could even throw that on like a Ned rig. Go ahead and focus that. Yeah, that does look good, man. Especially up here in Michigan. So anyway, to kind of finish off today's today's Monster Bass, uh, I almost said box again, Monster Bass unbagging, you do have the X-Zone Pro Series Slammer. You have the standout hooks. You have Deep Creek Lures. You kind of got your fluke style bait. You do have a frog, a spinner bait, a chatter bait, a thing of the Kamikaze Swim On Chick Magnet Swirl Plastics from Big Bite Baits. You do have the card, the sticker, and you do have my favorite bait out of this month's box, which is the Phantom Bream, the Rick Clun 3 quarter ounce. Do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. What is your guys' favorite bait out of this month's box? And I don't know when, but at some point this year, I am going to take this Phantom Bream and try to make a video with it, whether it's a big pike or a bass or whatever. But let me know. What was your favorite bait out of this month's box? Do you guys, do you guys like this? <laughs> I said box again. Do you guys like this month's bag? Do you dislike it? Let me know what you think in the comments. We always have a pretty good discussion about Monster Bass down in the comments. So far, I do enjoy their bags and their boxes. Some are better than others, absolutely. But, I mean, I think this month's was pretty good. It had a great variation. So, again, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want fishing videos, check out some of the videos, man. I'm actually about to go, I think, try a pond. But, I don't know. We're, we're going to see how, see how today goes. But, anyway, thank you. I will see you guys next time.